Actor Gavin O'Hurley he died on September 15 in Bath, England at the age of 70, according to CNN. Orley High's death was not officially announced until November 12, the outlet added. His family and relatives have chosen not to disclose the cause of Orley High's death, but they did state that his death was not related to COVID-19, the Hollywood Reporter confirmed. Meanwhile, Orley High's agent, Michael Emptage, released a statement to People. He was a wonderful actor with a long and distinguished career in film, television, and theater, Emptage said. Gavin was admired and respected for his directness, his sincerity, and his honesty, he is greatly missed by all who knew him and most particularly by his adoring wife and family. While Hurley he was best known for his role as Chuck Cunningham in the American sitcom Happy Days, the actor had him. Gavin O'Hurley he is memorialized as a free spirit Gavin Orley High's first acting role was on the Mary Tyler Moore show, where he briefly played the character Josh McBride, for his IMDb credits. Following this introduction to television, O'Hurley he landed the role of Chuck Cunningham on Happy Days, though this role was also short-lived, alongside Ron Howard, who played his little brother, Richie Cunningham. In light of Orley High's passing, Howard commemorated his former co-star on Twitter. R.I.P. Gavin, Howard wrote. I knew him as the first of two Chucks on Happy Days and then as Eric and Willow where I had the pleasure of directing him. A talented actor with a big free spirit. O'Hurley was really an iconic part of TV and films in the late 70s and early 80s. He appeared in The Bionic Woman and played the character Jack Patachi in Sean Connery's 1983 James Bond film, Never Say Never Again. Unforgettably, he also played Eric Thaf Bear in the 1988 film Willow. He is survived by his brother, Cormac O'Hurley, and fellow siblings Patricia, Morgan, and